This is the Charizard Authority. Um, don't worry, I'm not showing Pokemon cards today. I just want something to keep my zoom halfway in focus. I'm going to show you pre-constructed theme decks today. I am missing a few, but the ones that I am missing, are, uh, I've very rarely even heard of them. So um, we're going to. I collect through the uh, the e-reader series, so we're going to start there. First, we have read it. It's a uh, it's an Aquapolis theme deck case. It's not even opened yet. That's why I'm showing you a box. You can still see the original case wrap on. I guess somebody ordered one from the factory. I assume you can't do that anymore. I really don't know. But see the writing. It's pretty faded on it. I do not have a Sky Ridge. I do want it. I think I have Sky Ridge. There we go. Here's Expedition. Beautifully sealed condition. They're a little more rare than what they've shown here lately on eBay. But right now, too scarce. I do not have a Legendary Series one as well. I'll let that one go. Here's a Neo Destiny pre-constructed theme deck case or display, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful mint condition as well. I have a feeling these are going to run out soon from blowout cards, and their price is going to spike. Neo Revelation did not have theme decks, so next is Neo Discovery. These used to be fairly common as well, just because Troll and Toad and I think iguanas or something like that was selling them off and auctioning them. It went for really cheap. I think I got mine for 30, 40 bucks. Not to find that cheap now. I do not have Neo Genesis. I want a Neo Genesis one. I still have yet to see one of those come up on eBay. Here's Gym Challenge. These are fairly rare. I've only seen a few come up the past couple of years. The decks inside are expensive themselves. Next is Gym Heroes. When I first saw these sell, I was I was quite surprised at how how they sold, but I can see why. I like pre-constructed theme decks displays because they hold all the decks, they're in mint condition, and they're quite large. It's always nice to have. Let's go to Team Rocket. Very good condition as well. Next, you have base set two. It had two different sets. It had some starters. This is much larger than the other theme decks because it has ten of them, and they're a bit wider. Well, I thought it was ten. Once. This is only eight. Got a rip right there. They also had pre-constructed theme decks. There was four of them inside. Four of each. Now I'm flying through these a little quicker because I'd like to spend more time on the earliest set ones. If I can, once we get down to the base set. Next we have Fossil. These probably one of the most common. From, Wizard, from the Wizard of the Coast era. These are the yellow logos ones. There were red logo fossil pre-constructed decks. I can't find them. I'd really like to get my hands on some. But all I've seen are the individual decks themselves. I have not come across a sealed display. Here we have Jungle. Beautiful condition as well. This is the yellow logos. Here we have another jungle. Everything's the same except for the red logos. 
I managed to pull these off of the former production manager for Wizards of the Coast. She had two of them, and I've got the other one on eBay. But I have a price fairly high, so there haven't been too many takers on it. Alright, so let's go to the base set. We're going to start with the pre-constructed theme decks for them. These are the ones with all four locations on the bottom. I don't know if there is just a U.S. only location set. There may be. Uh, this is also, well, not hard to zoom in there. Well, you might have taken my word for it. In the bottom left, it only says, it says 1999. There are 1999-2000 decks. I haven't found a case yet to have the 1999-2000 on it. But I would assume there is since the starter decks exist with those dates. Now, this may look like the same thing, but it's actually not. If you notice as I go around the entire box, there are no wizard logos. Meaning that the decks inside are indeed shadowless. You can tell a few other differences in here. There's, if you compare them side by side, you can see differences in font and where words will end. It's just slightly off. These do not have the gold strips. I have never seen a case of gold strip pre-constructed theme decks unopened. I'd love to get my hands on them, but if they exist, I just don't know about them. So moving on to the starters. These do have the Wizards of the Coast logos. Now, if you can check the dates in the bottom left corner there, it says 1999-2000. I cannot confirm what's inside of here, but I would assume that these decks are the 1999-2000 dated ones for base set. I have the individual decks, but I've never opened up a display to see to confirm whether or not as indeed what is inside. Oh wait, on the bottom, you notice the international and the U.S. dates are present. Next, we have another starter display. It looks like you know the same kind of thing. It's got the wizard logos, but it the dates on the back are just 1999 on the bottom. The words are slightly shifted off from the one I just showed you, but also this is only U.S. dates, which indicate to me that the decks inside are more than likely shadowless, but I'm not going to open it up. I do not have just the regular 1999 dated decks with U.S. and international dates. Looking for them, but not too hard. They're sitting around here somewhere. And lastly, Right here we have the starter decks, but there are no wizard logos on them. And while it may seem plain to have eight shadowless theme decks, the Machamps inside are quite valuable. The last two I sent off that I opened up straight out of a sealed wrapper got a 9 and a 10, and they sold for $100 and $500 a piece. There's eight of those in here untouched. Again, you can see at the bottom. You might be able to see it at the bottom. It's just 1999 dates, and on the bottom it's just the U.S. dates. That's my collection. And if you have any of the gold strip pre-constructed cases, the or the uh, red logos fossil, Neo Genesis, Legendary, or Sky Ridge, like unopened displays, I would be interested in trading something fairly valuable for them, or even you know buying them straight out. This is pretty much my collection of those. I do have more, but these are all the different ones that I have. Thank you.